माई नेम इज सौरव एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल गोइंग टू सी अबाउट लोकल ब्रेकर बैकअप प्रोटेक्शन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल गोइंग टू सी अबाउट वट इज एल बी बी दैट इज लोकल ब्रेकर बैकअप प्रोटेक्शन वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ एल बी बी हाउ एल बी बी वर्क एंड हाउ एल बी बी गिव ट्रिप कमांड टू द ब्रेकरस सो एल बी बी एज द नेम सजेस्ट दिस इज द बैकअप प्रोटेक्शन यूज टू इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सिस्टम टू इनक्रीज द टू इनहेंस द सिस्टम स्टेबिलिटी टू इंश्योर द सिस्टम स्टेबिलिटी सो एल बी बी वर्क सो हाउ एल बी बी वर्क सपोज एनी फॉल्ट ऑकर इन द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन सपोज दिस इज द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड एनी फॉल्ट ऑकर इन द ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड सपोज द ब्रेकर एसोसिएटेड विद दिस फॉल्ट फेल्ड टू ट्रिप सो इफ द ब्रेकर फेल टू ट्रिप इट विल the fault current will go to the another system which can which can increase the system instability to so to protect the system some other backup protection is necessary to ensure the system stability to ensure the protection system in the transmission line is stable so how this lbb work you can see what is written here if any fault occur in the transmission line suppose the distance fault happen and due to any reason like the due to the mechanical failure of the breaker due to the electrical failure the breaker associated with the fault fail to trip so the lbb the backup protection initiate so this lbb protection is also written in the relay as 50z or 50bf that is bus failure relay so how this lbb work let us consider an example of single bus system so suppose this is the bus this is the two incomer line and this is the breaker this is the outgoing lines suppose this is the three outgoing lines let's say this is the incomer and this is the bus this is the bus so let's say fault occur here let's say fault occur here fault occur here so normally if the fault occur in the third outgoing lines that is this third outgoing line so which breaker will trip the which breaker should trip if the fault occur here this breaker should trip in the normal condition now let's say let's say this breaker fail to trip may be due to the mechanical failure that may be due to the electrical failure of breaker this breaker fail to trip so if this breaker fail to trip lbb that is the backup protection will come in picture and with this backup protection this lbb will trip all the breaker associated with the fault so if the fault happen here so how this fault current pass how what is the how this fault current flow in the line see this fault current flow from this direction fault current flow from this direction fault current will flow from this direction this direction and this direction so if the fault happen there if the fault happen there this all breaker this all breaker associated with the fault this all breaker this breaker this breaker this breaker this breaker all breaker will trip the lbb will give trip command to all the breakers and will shut down all the this all bus this all single bus will go to shut down so now we will see how this lbb knows that the breaker is failed to trip the breaker corresponding to the fault is failed to trip how this lbb know see there is two things in the transmission line when the lbb come in picture the first one the first one is the lockout the see suppose this is the lockout lockout is represented as 86 this is also called master trip or the 86 relay and the second one is the lbb second one is the lbb if any fault occur in the transmission line suppose distance fault occur differential occur this all the trip command to the breaker is given through the lockout relay this lockout relay is the one from where the trip command is in actuated so if the fault is occur in the transmission line this 
lockout relay will actuate and give trip command to the breaker let us see the when the any fault occur in the transmission line this that fault to be clear the fault to be clear in 30 millisecond 30 millisecond this means this lockout relay will actuate and clear the fault in 30 millisecond if if this fault will not clear suppose the overcurrent that is the fault current is passing to, through the lockout relay after 30 millisecond also then this lbb will initiate lbb will initiate see what is the meaning of initiation and what is the meaning of actuation actuation means giving the command to the breaker giving the command initiation means to initiate to initiate the relay to count down the relay see the relay has given some time the relay has given some time spin to after certain time this should actuate so lbb suppose lbb has given normally 200 millisecond time 200 millisecond time to initiate after 200 millisecond lbb give trip command to the breaker if both if the both relay started simultaneously then some kind of malfunction can also be happen this lbb can operate first then the lockout and will give trip command to all the breaker and will lead to system shutdown even the fault will not happen even the breaker will able to trip <clears throat> so lbb only initiate when lockout actuate lockout give trip command to the breaker and after 30 millisecond also after the time given to the breaker to trip also after that time also the relay is sensing the fault current then lbb initiate and the initiation time is given normally 200 millisecond and this can be changed accordingly in different station so let's say the initiation time is 200 millisecond so lbb wait for 200 millisecond and if the lockout fault is not clear the fault that is available in the lockout or master trip relay is not clear lbb will give trip command to all the breaker associated with the fault like we have seen in this in this single bus system let us assume one more condition let us assume one more bus system to clear all the doubt to clear all the things so let us see this bus system see this is the bus let us see two zone system. This is the bus section and this is the incomer. Let us see this is the four incomer lines and this is the breaker. And there is the outgoing lines. Let us see this is the four outgoing lines. And this is the bus section breaker this which divide the bus section. So see this is the outgoing lines. and this is the bus this is the bus so what happen what happen suppose let's say the fault occur here this time this time suppose let's say fault occur here so normally this normally if the suppose distance fault occur here normally this breaker should trip this breaker should open but let's say this breaker failed to open so as we have discussed as i have said that the lbb wait for the master the the lockout uh, actuation and after 30 millisecond lbb initiate so if this breaker failed to trip this means that the fault current is passing through the lockout relay after uh, the actuation of the lockout relay lbb will initiate for 200 millisecond so how the fault current is passing see how the fault current is passing fault current will pass like this 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 is the two incomer and from there fault current will pass like this so the LBB will give trip command to which breakers? LBB will give trip command to this outgoing breaker, this incomer 1 breaker, this incomer 2 breaker and this bus section breaker. So all the this zone will go to shutdown. So what is the difference between what is the difference between the first case and the second case? See, 
this is the single bus system where full where full this zones go to shut down but in this the sectionalized system this is the bus sectionalized system only the zone 1 only this zone will go to shut down and this zone will be protected this zone will be protected so i hope you understand what is the purpose of lbb lbb is used to provide the system stability lbb is lbb work lbb come in the picture when the breaker associated with the fault fails to trip and lbb wait for 200 millisecond when the wait for the uh, master uh, master lockout relay trip time so this is the function of the lbb i hope you can understand if you have any problem you can ask in the comment section